Are you planning a trip to Epcot and want to make sure that you have the best kid-friendly experience possible? Then we've got you covered. In today's adventure, we're going to highlight some of our favorite rides and attractions in Epcot for families with children. Epcot is broken into four neighborhoods. We're going to start at the front of the park and world celebration with Spaceship Earth. This slow-moving ride through the history of communication does not have a height requirement and is perfect for kids of all ages. There aren't any scary moments during this ride, and if you time it just right, your littles may fall asleep in the dark and the air conditioning. Your older ones will enjoy the touchscreen at the end when you plan your return trip to Earth. Spaceship Earth is truly one of our favorite rides. We don't feel like we've visited Epcot unless we've ridden this ride. This is one of the opening day attractions at Epcot. We love the notion of edutainment and this is a nostalgia play for us. We really enjoy it. We like listening to Dame Judi Dench narrate us through the history of communications, starting with the Phoenicians, thank you Phoenicians, all the way up to the Gutenberg Press and to the dawn of our most modern age of communications with computers. One of the great things about some of the rides here at Epcot is that at the end of the ride, you'll often come across an interactive play area. These interactive play areas are often great for children of all ages. Some of them are more hands-on than others, but it's always a great place to go if you feel that your child is not ready for the ride or if they're too young for the ride yet. And if it's raining outside, this is a great opportunity to come inside, have some fun, and still be entertained. A little tip for you here. If the line is more than 20 to 30 minutes, do not wait for this ride or use a lightning lane. Come back later in the day when the wait time drops. Next, we're headed off to World Discovery. Depending on where your family falls on the thrill spectrum and the age of your littles, you will find three rides here that may be just right for you. We'll start off with the newest addition to the Epcot lineup, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This one has a 42 inch height requirement and is an indoor roller coaster. Next, we head right next door to Mission Space, the green mission. Your little has to be 40 inches or taller to ride this one and absolutely must be comfortable in enclosed spaces. The Green Mission will take you on a simulated shuttle orbit around Earth and is much tamer than the Orange Mission, which has been known to make people sick. Our little guy loves this ride and rode it for the first time as soon as he hit the 40 inch height requirement and hasn't looked back. It is on his must-do list every trip and we know going in that we're going to have to ride this one multiple times. There's hardly ever a wait for the Green Mission. This is another one of those rides where we'd suggest that you come back if the wait is more than 30 minutes. Our tip for you here is that if you don't think your kids are ready for this ride just yet, that's okay. You can still enter through the gift shop at the exit and let your kids play in the advanced training lab at the end of the ride. Now this area is fun for kids of all heights and all ages. Our little guy has always loved spending time crawling through the wormhole and has to be coaxed out of this area. The last ride in this neighborhood is Test Track. This is another ride that our little guy loves and has been riding since he hit the 40 inch height requirement. Here you'll find yourself building a Chevy concept car and taking it through its paces out on the proving ground. This is another one of those rides that has a really cool post show area that is a lot of fun. You can enter through the exit and spend time perusing the collection of Chevy cars that are on display and posing at the photo ops. Our tip here is that if you are investing in lightning lanes, this is one that you'll want to snag early in the day. It'll close down for weather related reasons, so to avoid rain delays, try to ride this one early in the day. Next up, we head over to World Discovery. Our first stop in this neighborhood is the Land Pavilion, which has two rides that are family friendly. First up is Soarin' Around the World, which has a 40 inch height requirement. This ride takes you hang gliding around major sites of the world. One thing to be aware of here is that if you or your littles have a fear of heights, you may want to skip this one. 
The other ride in this pavilion is Living with the Land. This is a slow moving boat ride that takes you through the history of farming. Next up is the Seas with Nemo and Friends. This ride is located in the Seas Pavilion and is another family friendly ride without a height requirement. This slow moving ride takes you on a relaxing journey through Nemo's story. In addition to the ride, in this pavilion you will find an aquarium, Turtle Talk with Crush where the kids can talk to Crush, and Dory has a scavenger hunt. Moving over to Journey into Imagination with Figment, this is a slow moving ride where Figment guides you through the Imagination Institute and the Five Senses. At the end of this attraction, you'll find yourself following Figment's purple footprints along the wall on the way out of the attraction and into the interactive play area here called Imageworks. In this play area, which happens to be one of our favorites, you can stop and conduct the orchestra with Figment. Just use your arms and different instruments will play. Then you can move over to the carpet where the different shapes also play different musical instruments. That's always a lot of fun. The other thing that we like to do here is to go over and build our own Figments. We can build those. And then this area is also set up for photo ops and character meet and greets. Now we're ready to leave the front of the park and go on to the World Showcase. Depending on how you prefer to travel around the countries, you will encounter these rides in a slightly different order. Oftentimes we will stop in the Mexico Pavilion where you will find the Three Caballeros ride. Uh, that is a slow moving boat ride. There's also some shopping to be done there in the Mexico Pavilion, but we like to stop also outside in the area just before you go into the heart of the pavilion. They have had it decorated for Coco for a while. On our last visit, our little guys stopped and we took some time to interact with the screen on the wall, which gave him the ability to dress as skeleton. Continuing on clockwise around the World Showcase, you'll enter the Norway Pavilion and encounter Frozen Ever After. Our little guy hates this ride. We haven't quite put our finger on it, but we don't think it was the very mild drop in this ride. We think it had more to do with the snowmen that you meet just before the drop. He encountered those snowmen for the first time at four and it's really hard to convince him to get back on this very tame, slow moving boat ride. So here's a lesson that we learned the hard way. Sometimes you just never know what might freak your littles out. The rides you think that are gonna be fine aren't and the ones that you're not so sure about, they end up loving, go figure. Next up around the world showcase is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Remy's puts you inside of the Ratatouille movie, shrinking you down to the size of a mouse. This one is sure to be a crowd pleaser for the littles in your group. Our tip here is that this is another one of those rides that you will want to grab a lightning lane for if you've already invested in Genie Plus, or you're going to want a rope drop because it's either going to sell out or the lines are just going to get longer throughout the day. Phew, who says the Epcot isn't for kids? And these are just the rides and attractions. There's so much that we left unsaid, like the festivals, the fireworks, kid cot, character meet and greets. There's a new scavenger hunt and so much more. Let us know down in the comments if you'd like us to do a part two where we cover the experience that we just didn't have a chance to in this video. Want to know if Universal Orlando is kid friendly? Watch this video on the rides and attractions that we find kid friendly over at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We hope that you found this video helpful to planning your kid friendly adventure to Epcot. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventure takes you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now.